set up an alert on it so I know which ram lambs I want to keep. Now, welcome to Sheep School. Today we are picking lambs out for selling. It's payday at last. So I have my young nephew, Sam, with me. What age are you? 11. 11. He's not a farmer, but he might want to be. No, look, he mightn't want to be. I'm not convinced he wants to be. He's uh, here for a bit of work experience, summer holidays. He's up here for a few days, so he's going to give me a hand. So we're going to get lambs, ram lambs picked out. A lot of them we're going to sell for stores, so we're picking them out. Mark day tomorrow. So we're going to bring them up through this field here, up into the shed here. So uh, they have to go up this ramp. So the plan is, these are the hogged rams. You might have seen the, those in the shearing video. Have to get those into the shed first and out of the way. So we can get all the sheep and lambs up into the shed. So we'll do that next. Wait. Good job. So these are the hogged rams, uh, breeding hogged rams that we've retained for breeding. So we'll just get them into the shed here. Get them out of the way. Wait, go on, put them on. That's it? That's it. Right, hoggled rams are in, they're out of the way. We'll go and get the sheep and lambs next. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So the sheep know the drill, usually open the gate and they're getting fresh grass, so they'll all run out, that's the easy part, but getting them into the next field and the next one and then up into the shed, that's when the fun starts. Now it might be a bit noisy here in the shed, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me but we're going to run them through the race here and then I can divert my lambs left or right, the ones that are staying I'll go back in here, they're the ones for selling. So uh, right, he's ready to roll. Yeah. So I've Sam with me and Robbie's just arrived as well, he's going to give us a hand as well so we'll make it start. Now that's the couple of hens emptied here. So you'll see Robbie here. So he's just about to load them from through the sliding door into me. Hopefully they keep flowing. We're going well. Keep at. After a bit of resting, we've all the ram lambs picked out, separated from the oats. So we just have to go through them now and see which ones we're going to keep for breeding. We'll have to run them through the race again and use the EID reader. Set up an alert on it so I know which ram lambs I want to keep to retain on for breeding or breeding hoggets so I can scan the tag and it'll flag up the alert. I'll show you actually, I'll show you on the computer on the software system how I do that, how I set up the alert. It's very useful actually, it's very useful for setting up when you're going through the O's for culls as well. So we'll make a start here, have a look. Right. So, so you'll see that alert there, it says check. So the check is to actually have a look at them and see if there's any physical defects at all or anything I don't like physically just to look at them, they're going as well. So this one, it's the first lamb we've just started getting with an alert and it's checked. So we'll, we'll have a look at them. Now you'll see that's just come up, so that's saying sell, sell, 
So he is not one I want to retain for breeding, so he goes on out today. Sales, man. We have them sorted at home in the home place. We're just over on this other bit of ground. This is the second batch of lambs, the ones that are a slightly higher growth rate. We're just gonna run through them here and see what's going to stay on the O. We're gonna go to the mark tomorrow. So we'll run through them here now. Okay. Okay. So we're just letting the O's and the O lambs run. <laughs> now here's a few with 16 picked off here. Not sure exactly the weights, they're over 30 kilos anyway. So I uh, have picked these out. I do not want to keep these on for breeding hoggard rams, so these can go to the mart. I'm going to sell them at stores. They're good money at the minute. So we have to run the main batch of sheep back across the road, and we're going to load these into the trailer and get them back home to the home place. <laughs> So that's them back. We're gonna load these 16 and get them back to the shed next. You all right, Samo? You enjoying yeah. yourself? You gonna become a sheep farmer? I don't know. Not convinced, Probably. not convinced. Yeah, you have to be born to love it, I think. This is to all the ram lambs that I'm keeping for breeders that grow into hoggets for next year. Now, I won't be keeping them all, but they're a good weight, so we can thin them out as the year goes on. If there's anything that I don't like or isn't growing out properly, I just kill them, send them off to the factory. So hopefully in 12 months time, this batch of ram lambs will grow into nice hoggart rams like these. So I've actually 30 of these hoggart rams for sale this year. Uh, 22 of them are genotyped and they're very high for the um, genetic evaluation. So. Actually in Ireland here, farmers are, uh, not saying we're forced into it, but we get a subsidy of 12 euro per yo, and part of that is a farmer has to buy a five star, which is the highest genetic merit of a breeding ram uh, within the next three years. So I have 22 of these genotype that uh, meet the criteria for that scheme. So hopefully that will help uh, increase the demand for them but we'll see how that goes so look we'll get these ram lambs out and we'll pick out what has to go to the mart next so here's my store lambs behind me be interesting to see what the average weights are when we run them into the uh, sales ring i haven't picked them out on their weights just kind of a job lot so one lot of 26 another of 25 and another of 16 so the 16 came from that uh, better performing group be interesting to see if they sell any better they're probably a tidier looking bunch of lambs in slightly better condition so there's one uh call yo in it somewhere as well you'll see her with the red line on her back so she's just a fat yo i picked out of the batch when we were going through them probably not as smart as the ram lambs that i picked out for breeders but that's to be expected so we've had them in the shed it was a terrible wet night you'll see it's raining here down pipes overflowing it was a very wet night so uh, I run them in, kept them in the shed. Probably not ideal, they've had a bit of hay, so they're not too empty looking. So we get them loaded here, head for the mart, and have a look. Just loading the lambs here. You'll see I'm getting my early morning workouts. Plastic bag is a very useful tool in this situation. Very hard job loading these lambs. It's the first time they were ever in a stock trailer. They don't know the drill, or they have to move up to the front of the trailer, so it's quite hard to get them all shoved up the front and get this back section closed hard work bit of heavy lifting really could do with easy load decks here because quite a tight lift you're lifting the back section off the trailer there the top deck loaded just get the bottom deck in here the dog is quite clean plastic bag again try and get them packed in 
So really could do with a smaller pen there or a little forcing pen, but tight for tying. Wanted to get to the mart early to get into a nice position in the mart. Not like the last day where I ended up being the last in the sale. Didn't want to do the same again this week, so trying to get away early. Pressure on. So there's one lamb gone already. So we're in the mart. Didn't take any footage of unloading. You've seen that the last time, so. The lambs are all penned up here in their individual lots. So we've got three lots. They're all separated out into their pens. So we get the stickers from the mart. So we'll just stick these onto the sheep so the mart staff know which lot numbers and how many lambs are in each lot number. I have one yo here, this is the fat yo, so just a single sticker to put on her, little wrestling match, and there we go. So we're into the ring here, this is my first lot of 26 lambs. So we get them all into the ring, first of all, so I head up to the auctioneer and I just let him know that they've been vaccinated, dosed and clicked and he can announce it, which uh, should help to sell them because potential buyers know then that they've, everything is done that should be done with them. So it should help. We'll see how it goes. Let's see how the sale plays out. So they run through the scales, weighing scales first. The weight is checked. It's then shown on the screen, the auctioneer will announce it, so they're 34 kilos average weight each. So we let the auctioneer do his thing now. Now, so you'll see here, I'm using two softwares. So I'm using, this is my performance recording software, uh, Kingswood Sheep. It's from TGM in Northern Ireland. So I've just moved on to my Sheep Ireland account, so I've switched between the two. So here's just an example of how I can pick them. You'll see a single here. So this, um, that's, I'm trying to set an alert for, I've noticed he's a single. I just decide to check his mother to see what our um, production is like. So we'll see here, she is three star and a five star in terminal. So just check her progeny to see how she's performed over her lifespan. So an interesting one here, total of three live lambs, 2019 born, three live lambs, not the most productive sheep in my eyes. So on that basis, You'll actually see our lambs here are quite good weights, quite a good growth rate, but in terms of production, not particularly good. So I decide on that basis, keeping a ram off her is not the best idea moving forward for my type of sheep or prolific sheep. The last thing we want to do is breed sheep that are producing singles. 
So in order to set an alert, I searched this LAM 2452, highlighted in yellow. Easy as this, set an alert, create a new alert. So here's all my options here. I just scroll down through my different alerts that I use. Click it to sell, save. That alert is now saved. So, so here's another example. It's LAM number 2258. So he is a twin, importantly. Put a lot of emphasis on twins. So four star for replacement, four star for terminal. So if we just click back here and have a look at uh, the dam, put a lot of em emphasis on the dam also. So number 329 was the dam. We'll just click into her and have a look. So she is five star in replacement five star in terminal she was a triplet not ideal we we'll check her progeny see she's not too prolific uh, so we can see here she is she's had five crops of lambs 11 lambs in total one dead at birth so if we just have a look at our lambs here we can see their all their performance recording so here's the one that was classified as dead at birth died within 24 hours the so one of our offspring died at two years old that's probably an important one because dying in sheep as we know is a problem and it is quite hereditary so we don't want to see too many deaths in offspring of a particular sheep so on that basis that lamb is a very good lamb to keep so it just depends on his physical appearance after that so we'll save that as a check but I'll just repeat that process for every ram lamb so i'll maybe go into a little more detail on that in a performance recording video at a later stage it could eat up quite a bit of time let me know if, if you think it's going to be of interest to you i'd like to hear from you in the comments we have a ram lamb sorted here behind us so enya my little girl ada and this is noah noah's 12 months old today he's one so i'm not sure if he's going to make a sheep farmer he doesn't know what's going on with all this noise he's saying hello thumbs up so that's it I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I remember, every day with sheep is a school day. Oh, Sam! Sheep daddy! So this is why you don't work with animals or children.